Hey everybody, what's going on? It's me, Brad Munn. Uh, I'm here to do kind of a mini review, guitar review for you again. Uh, what we have here today is a Wild Audio uh, Odin charcoal uh, buzzsaw. Buzzsaw's kind of a runoff from when Zach was with Gibson and Epiphone and had a a buzzsaw. Uh, you can see this has kind of got like the burled looking wood underneath of it. I believe the body's mahogany. And uh, it's got this like little kind of point horn on the back. It's got this uh, funky horn that comes out here, which I like it. I think it gives you a little bit more reach space here than regular Les Paul. Uh, this is what the back looks like. And we've got nice binding on here. And uh, we've got these Norse uh, rune fret inlays. And I'm, I don't know exactly what they mean, but I'm guessing they just mean the number of the kind of the fret you're on or something. That's good enough for me for right now. Maybe it draws some energy from, you know, Odin himself. Gives the wisdom through your music out of the sky into your hands, you know. That's the way I like to think about it sometimes. Um, but yeah, and then I think the neck is maple. Got nice tuners. All the hardware is very nice. Uh, the fretboard is ebony. And the frets are nice and fat jumbo frets. <laughs> So I'm running through the 72 Princeton, which is, you know, you know, I think Zach uses mostly Marshall type of stuff, but also the wild audio. I asked him about it once and I uh, can't remember what he told me. Um, but I'm using, like I said, a Fender Princeton Reverb 72 with a DS7 distortion pedal. Um, and then we, we got, of course, the Zach Wild EMG set active pickups. Uh, they sound great. I think they have like a little bit of a compression type of sound there, which works great for the style of music that we mostly use for this guitar. But I think typically I could use this guitar to play any type of music, up the jazz and everything. But, you know, people see you with this type of guitar, they, won't, they don't want to hear that. Uh, so, uh, also I was talking about the buzzsaw being the typical, uh, the Zach Wilde from when he was with Gibson Epiphone, in case you don't know what that looked like. Here I have an example. So, there. That's the example. And these guitars are pretty heavy. Both of them. Uh, compared to other guitars that I have. So, I guess we'll start out with clean. Nah, nah, that's boring. Here, I'll just, I'll give you a good power <laughs> Do it quick. I don't want to make this thing forever anyway. So. I kind of want to get in a position here where you can see it all. Thank 
sounds really, really nice and clean, doesn't it? Yeah, that would work for just about anything. separately so I could turn this one whole way down and then do that old you know trick um, but all right one more depth Thank you. 
got some metal shit to it, don't it? All right. Going on down. Zach, thanks for coming up with these guitars, man. This is awesome. I really do hope I end up in a band sometime where I'm playing a, this type of guitar because, man, I'd love to shred it live. You know, that would be so cool. Um, and, uh, you know, I definitely don't go out there and try to be Zach Wild, that's for sure. Uh, although, he's big in big influence on me growing up. And so, he's one of my favorites. Uh and I think it definitely has a unique take and and uh, like his attitude. <laughs> so check that out, folks. These were in back order for a long time. And when I saw them come up and I was like, yeah, I better do it. I better do it. So I did it. There it is. Hope you all have a good night. Like and subscribe. I guess, yeah, that's what they say to do. Don't make any money off of it or anything, but hey, it's okay. Maybe someday I will, who knows? <laughs>